have certainly heard about the devastating consequences of drunk driving here in Colorado and throughout the nation, but how much can law enforcement really do to stop a person from driving drunk? Hello, welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Beverly Weaver, and with me now is Representative Mark Waller. And Representative, welcome. Thanks for coming on the program with us. Thanks for having me. I always enjoy it. Yeah. Let's begin. You're really working on some legislation and some uh, reinforcement, if you will, of drunk driving laws in Colorado. Tell me what you're trying to do. Well, you know, uh, drunk driving is obviously a major problem in our society today, and especially with the proliferation of marijuana now in the state of Colorado, we're seeing the number of intoxicated drivers on Colorado streets go up. And Colorado is unfortunately one of only a few states that doesn't have a felony charge for driving under the influence of alcohol or marijuana, and we're really working hard to create that sentencing option for judges in the state of Colorado. Right, and I didn't realize that we don't have a felony option, and that is true, uh, Representative, whether it's a first-time offender or a tenth-time offender, right? Yeah, that's right. Right now in the state of Colorado, if you get uh, a, a DUI the first time or you get, uh, you're on your tenth DUI, the penalties are the same. You can serve up to a year in the county jail, and that's it. That's the maximum penalty, and what this bill does is creates uh, more sentencing options for judges and prosecutors to be able to send people to prison or create a probationary period where they can serve longer on probation and hopefully get the help they need. Right, and you talked about that, um, the help they need, that is critical because we see so many people when you hear about it once um, and it comes out in the news, they did hit someone, they did kill someone, we find out it's the tenth time they've been in court or the fifth time they've been in court for drunk driving. Um, talk about people getting the help that they need, How's, how will that work with this legislation? Well, and that's really the secret to this. I mean, this isn't about just locking people up and throwing away the key. We want to stop the cycle of criminal behavior. That's what this legislation is truly about. Right now, there are no options for these people to really stop that behavior and get on the path to recovery. And you can send them to um, treatment for a little while, but there really isn't, there aren't the tools in the toolbox of the prosecutor and the judge to make sure they can, you know, truly uh, overcome their issues and become a productive member of society. And what this bill, what I hope this bill does is creates a circumstance where people are incentivized uh, to become successful on probation. If they're looking at the possibility of going to the Department of Corrections, if they're not successful on probation, if they don't do their treatment, um, then I think they'll be more likely uh, inclined to do their treatment. And that's incredibly important because once again, this isn't just about sending people to prison. Right. Sometimes that's the right option. Yeah. You know, this is really about getting folks on the path to recovery and, and getting them moving on as a productive member of society. And what about the deterrent factor? Obviously, um, if, you, if you have that felony possibility, you're gonna have maybe less people driving drunk. Yeah, I, I think that's exactly right. You know, what this bill does is it says, if you get um, your third uh, DUI within a seven year period, that third DUI is charged as a felony or four in a lifetime. If it's your fourth DUI in your entire lifetime, that one's charged as a felony. And so absolutely the deterrent effect is, um, I think, a huge piece of this piece of legislation. All right, definitely uh, hard work here at the state capitol. I know you're very vested in the, the session and getting a lot of work done. Representative Mark Waller, thanks so much for being with us today. Thanks, Beverly, I appreciate it. And thanks for watching Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Beverly Weaver.